Hey everyone, did you know big changes are coming to the Bitcoin Core wallet? I never use the Bitcoin Core wallet really anyways because it sucks, but um, they're making some big changes, breaking changes. They're making some big changes and I wanted to talk about it. It's about descriptor wallets. So I've got uh, version 0 0.18 running. Uh, Bitcoin Core, and I'm able to do these amazing commands called get new address, and it spits out an address just like that. Kaboom! Isn't that cool? I know. You'd think it's a new feature. Nope, it's an old one. And I could also do, like, if I want that private key so I can construct my own transaction, a raw transaction, and spend it, all I have to do is dump private key and put in my address, and it will spit back my WIF private key. There it is. So easy, huh? Well, guess what? That's changing. Dump pride key has been removed from Bitcoin Core. <laughs> Woo, ain't that fun? Well, why? Well, because of um, pay to script hash. You know, pay to script hash, you can create these non standard scripts, and it's very difficult to redeem. But, I mean, how many people create these non-standard scripts? Only people that are really competing with the smart contract world. Most people won't ever use it. You know, your P2SH might be a wrap segwit. Your P2SH might be a multi-sig, and that's about it. But with Taproot, uh, Bitcoin Core really wants to expand and compete with smart contracts. So they're making some big trade-offs, breaking changes. The first one is... They got rid of the dump prive key command. I know, that's a good one. Instead, you have to do, I believe it's export descriptors. So then that way you get a derivation path and an extended private key. And then you could finally get to the WIF key. But why? Why are they doing that? So I asked them why. You know, why not just allow it and then... Um, and, you know, put a warning. And it's because... Bitcoin Core is leaving a hardened derivation path. Now, if you know what a hardened derivation path, that's those little apostrophes, ticks. You know, when you see the M slash 49 tick, slash zero tick, those ticks are a hardened path so that you need the seed to derive future um, future keys. It's basically um, makes it more secure so that in case one of your whiffs get leaked and the extended public key, then someone can reverse solve for all those keys. If you have a hardened path, they cannot. But if you have an unhardened path, they can. So Bitcoin Core has decided to make this change. They said, and he says it right here, it's unsafe. Look, that's unsafe. I asked him why not leave dump prive key and just put a warning, and he says it's unsafe. And a few posts previous, he agrees. He agrees, yes, you can take additional steps to convert to the whiff yourself. Ah, pull out my hair. Are they high? What are these guys doing? Okay, I'm clearly not as good an engineer as these people, so they must know something that I don't that makes them want to break. Break the wallet. Sorry, I'm angry. And it's because of descriptor wallets. It's because of Taproot. It's because they want to make it more easily more easy to create these um, P2SH type transactions or outputs rather and that they can be decoded which makes sense I get that but is it really worth what we're doing and I mean it depends who you ask I don't know why we're trying to compete in the smart contract space but whatever so what are they gonna do they're gonna dump Berkeley database and instead they're gonna go to uh, what is it no SQL no no no, no. SQL Lite. I mean, I've used SQLite. I thought it was just kind of a fun toy. I'm kind of surprised they're using it, but again, I'm not as good of engineers as Z people, so they know more than me. This is from Andrew Chow's website. Again, I respect him immensely. I am not taking any digs at Andrew Chow. I want to make that clear. Um, but here is you have confirmation that compatibility will be breaking. He said previously it was always a pillar of Bitcoin Core to not break it, but this time, why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. So, your Bitcoin Core wallet no longer is going to have dump prive key. You can't get that whiff very easily. You're going to have to traverse an HD keychain to get it because they're afraid, because they know they made an unsafe change. 
so that they can uh, go forward with taproot and advanced scripting. Again, it's a trade-off. Should we? I don't know. Me personally, I'm saying I would think no, but maybe that's just my oldness. Speaking, I'm old and I don't like change, right? But I like that this thread ended with <laughs> ended with this post stating that the change is unsafe because they moved to unhardened derivation paths. All right, I'm going to keep this video quick. I just wanted to give you an update of some changes that are coming. It's going to be uh, deprecated, the old wallets. And this is just a Bitcoin core deprecation. And people like me who want to use old school wallets will continue to do so instead of following this <sighs> pay to script uh, endeavor. Thank you guys. Talk to you next time.